YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another mystery box. This box right here is from Toy USA. This is a $50 damage mystery box from them. They have some pretty cool grails in there that I was looking to get my hands on. So I'm hoping that one of them is in this box. So I'm gonna open this one up, unbox them one by one, and uh, wish me good luck. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit subscribe button down below as well so you update to my most recent content. Hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, this was a $50 damage mystery box from Toy USA. They had some pretty cool top grails in there. I think the three top ones were, uh, it was a Thor pop, I think it was a Falcon pop, and uh, I think the other one was uh, the Red Hulk. Um, the ones I wanted the most were actually they had a Mr. Freeze from the Batman animated series. They actually had the count from Sesame Street. For whatever reason, I've wanted that count for a very long time, and it keeps going up in value, and I just haven't pulled the trigger in to get it. So I'm hoping that maybe I can get that in this mystery box. So let's see. This has four pops in there, and there's one in the protector. So we'll do that one last. So uh, the value was guaranteed at $50, so we'll at least get our $50 back. All right, so... One by one, first pop. Okay, so this is Prince Volton from Flash Gordon. I've never seen Flash Gordon. I don't know much about it at all, but I know people uh, do like this um, movie. Um, I can't tell you anything about Prince Volton, but it looks like a pretty cool pop. Here you get the other pops in the back. You have Flash Gordon, Ming the Merciless, and General Clytus, I guess. Uh, this pop looks like it's from 2016, so it's probably going to be a vaulted one. I have never, ever seen this pop before. Didn't know this line existed. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's always cool to get something you've never seen before, even if you don't know what it is. Um, it's better than getting the same old, same old duplicates. So, there you go. The first pop is Prince Volton from Flash Gordon. Um, it does have some damage. If you can see, there's a little bit of a crease on the back right there. Um, you know, a lot of the mystery boxes I get that are damaged mystery boxes, that's about the worst I've ever seen it, is that kind of damage. I don't see too many things worse than that. A lot of times I don't notice the damage at all. Uh, but let's see what he's going for. This Prince Volton is going for a total of 15 bucks, and he is vaulted. So there you go, first pop is a vaulted one. Not bad start at all. All right, so let's see if we can keep that good trend going. Hopefully in this four pop mystery box, we don't get any duplicates. Um, that's really all I ever uh, hoped for, but it doesn't seem to always be the case. So, let's see what we got with number two. Second pop. Okay, so this is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. So, uh, I did pull a Triple H pop, I think in a, um, the collection I got recently, and uh, I don't have any Shawn Michaels pops. So, this one's the older um, costume Shawn Michaels had uh, back in the day. Um, I wish they had a DX one. I'm not sure if they do or not. Or they had like the like the stuff he used to wear on his chest during his ent entrance. Um, that'd be cool. But this is a Walgreens exclusive. I've never seen this one before. Uh, I don't know if there's any other Shawn Michaels out there. Let me check. I'm gonna check that when we check the value. Uh, but the Shawn Michaels is pretty cool. Uh, you know, he's one of the best wrestlers of all time to me. Uh, that Sweet Chin music is a classic uh, finisher, and uh, he's all around. He always put on a good show. Um, they do actually have another Shawn Michaels pop, the common one. It's 13 bucks, and this one actually is going for 15. So slightly more, not nothing, no nothing too crazy. Um, it's a cool one. I'm not sure if I'll keep this one because I actually like the other Shawn Michaels a little bit better. And uh, it'd be really, really cool if um, Funko would work with WWE to do a uh, DX um, like five pack or four pack, having um, you know X Pack, Road Dog, uh, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. That'd be really, really dope. And then you know throw in China if you wanted to. But for right now, this Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, dope pop, 15 bucks. So we're $30 in to a $50 mystery box. So, so far I think we're doing pretty well. We have two more pops and one of them being in a protector. So I would say we're gonna go, uh, I would think we'd go well above our, our guarantee value. Uh, but let's see, number three. <laughs> 
So we have another Teletubbies pop to add to the collection. So I do have this one already, Dipsy, the green uh, Teletubby. Um, this is a line that I thought was going to sell out pretty quickly on Funko's website. This was part of the 12 Days of Christmas bundle um, back in 2018, I believe. Yeah, 2018. And uh, if I remember correctly, they're still available on the website, which is pretty crazy. I thought this would be an instant sellout, and uh, it was not the case at all. But uh, I think they're pretty cool. I, I didn't really watch Teletubbies as a kid. I was a little bit too old when it first started. Um, but I know much, a lot about it. And um, yeah, they're cool ones. I got all of them already, so this is a duplicate. So we do have our first duplicate in this box. Um, but this Dipsy is going for a total of 15 bucks. So it still says it's available, it's not been vaulted, and it was 2018, so yeah, if anybody's interested in this Dipsy, it definitely will be available on the website, popsavage.shop. All right, so $45, three pops. We got one final pop to get $5 for a guarantee value, which I believe is going to happen, because this last pop is in a protector. So like I said, they had a promotional picture that had a whole lot of different uh, pops that were options for this uh, mystery box. I'm really hoping for the count, but anything else that would uh, not be a duplicate will be welcome. So, let's see what we got. Number four. Ooh. All right, so this is Boba Fett. This is the green chrome Boba Fett from 2019 San Diego Comic-Con. So, uh, this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a huge uh, chromed out fan, but this one actually looks pretty dope. And I don't have any Boba Fetts in my collection. Definitely want to get the original Boba Fett with the the, um, the blue um, the blue box. Uh, I haven't got it yet. It's not really too expensive. I just haven't got around to it. Uh, Boba Fett was a cool character. I know he's picking up a whole lot of steam as well with the Mandalorian going on. And I think he's going to be in the next one if I've heard the rumors correct. But this Boba Fett is really cool. And um, yeah, not much more I can really say. You guys, if you're Star Wars fans, know what Boba Fett is. Very, very popular character. But let's see what this pop is going for. This Boba Fett is going for a grand total of, it says 50 bucks on the Funko app, which I can't believe without confirming it on pop price, guys. Let me check real fast. Yeah, guys, so my hopes and dreams come crashing to the ground. This pop with the shared sticker, as you guys can see, is going for a total of 20 bucks. So with the con sticker, it's going for 50, but that shared sticker makes a $30 difference. This is a $20 pop. So, nothing too crazy. Um, still a cool pop. And um, yeah, at least we only got one duplicate out of it and some pretty cool looking pops that I've never seen before and never pulled. So, definitely a win. And I think this was a good box overall. Here's a total value right there as far as how I did with these Funko Pops. I gotta say my favorite probably is gonna be that Shawn Michaels, but that uh, Boba Fett is pretty cool as well. Let me know your favorite down in the comment section below. If you've not already, hit that like button, hit subscribe button, and if you're not already following me on Instagram, check me out on there as well at The Pop Savage so you can stay connected. I do post a whole lot of other things that are um, outside of this YouTube channel that I think you guys would be interested. So follow me on there if you're interested and have Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.